Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So today we will give a, a hand to our friend Color Frost. So let's talk to her. Feel a cold chill up your spine? For once it's not me. We have bigger problems. Someone or something has reactivated the OMAC virus. It turns ordinary people into killer cyborgs, targeting anyone with skills or powers. We have to stop them before they stop us. Permanently. Oh no! So let's go to Gotham. Uh, let's see if we have to activate. Nope. And there is a side quest here. Uh, let's pick it up just because. I'm Booster Gold, and this is the Booster Gold Exploration Adventure Series. This adventure will take you to Gotham's notorious East End, one of the most dangerous areas of the city. So uh, someone was asking about uh, leveling up. Uh, Apparently there, there's a, a few players who were stuck at level 29 for some reason and they were not able to to, to level up to rank 30. Uh, those booster gold missions probably would be a good option in order to be able to do that. Or any side missions like uh, the mission for, with uh, Catwoman. Uh, but we're not we're not going to going to do that one just yet. We'll play the Killer Frost mission and afterwards if we have to we'll play the Catwoman mission. We're almost close. We're very close to level 30, so my guess is we are not going to need uh, the Catwoman mission, but I, I could be wrong. So, no side quest here. So, let's go. Actually, yeah, I know where the side quest is. Well, I think I know. So, today we will be fighting a whole bunch of evil Omax. For those of you who may be wondering, OMAC means a one-man army corps. It's uh, something that was created by Kirby in the 70s when he was working uh, for DC. And it... Uh... This is Lex Luthor, and we have an opportunity. The OMAC virus is a deadly threat that must be met with equal force. But the mine deploying the OMAX is a valuable resource. It's called Brother Eye, and it's a downed satellite created by Batman to store data on superhuman threats. Information like that I can use. For now, take out the drones and steal their memory cores. Let's see what we can find. The OMAC was a cult hit, sort of. Um, apparently it wasn't selling all that well when it was first released, but uh, as time went by, it, it gained a huge uh, following. Um, although there are rumors uh, that uh, when when Kirby went to DC, basically he left. He was the the top number 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 one guy in comics, and mostly was the top number one guy at Marvel. So when uh, when the Kirby went from Marvel to DC, a lot of DC people were not too happy about that, and in some cases, uh, some thought that uh, Kirby was uh, stealing work from uh, some of their friends. So supposedly there are people who were working uh, very hard behind the scene to make sure that uh, Kirby was not a success, and they would go as far as to not quite tell the truth about the the sales so apparently the the, the so, but we we don't really know the, the sale numbers from what we know is that apparently the sales were not that good could be that the, they weren't they were not giving all the the real sale numbers but i guess we'll never know so let us uh, take the side quest here. the moment we heard brother eye drones were scanning the populace for superpowers can you break up those drones and gather me some of their nanoprocessors so if we pick up the side mission, we're going to be able to play the main mission and the side mission all at once. So let us do that. And let's pick the investigation because why not? So I guess we pulled a whole bunch of evil drones. Detecting unauthorized access to Brother Eye's location. I Detected. need your help. Attempted decryption of Brother Eye's location. Detecting unauthorized access to Brother Eye's location logs. Mm, something's wrong. It should. Uh... Ah, Superhuman ah. engaged. Good us one. We had to click on the civilians Detected. as well. Ah, oh, my bad. Decryption of Brother Eye's location. I detect a threat. Detected. Attempted. Now initiating defense sequences. There's a version of this mission for the hero side, so I could be misremembering and uh, remembering the hero side. Detecting unauthorized access to program. Now initiating defense sequences. Detecting. 
detected. Now initiating defense sequences. Detecting unauthorized access to Brother I's location logs. And the OMAC were later used uh, at least a few times uh, throughout the years. They were used around the time of the Final Crisis. Uh, they were tweaked a bit. Uh, at that point, it was uh, said that the Batman had, had, had actually created a Brother I. And then we later on... And then we later on saw the OMAX in the future... I forget the name. I have a future state in mind, and that that that's not it. Now initiating defense sequences. Detecting unauthorized high level <laughs> superhuman engaged. Detected attempted decryption of brother. Now initiating defense sequences. Detecting unauthorized access. <laughs> so we're almost done. Oh, well, let's pick up. Uh, never pass up a free exit bit, is what I always say. Calculator will review those memory cores to see if we can retrieve anything valuable. But this. These Brother Eye memory cores are encrypted in a Batman level code. It's like decoding a giant sized Batman computer mind. Now there's a scary thought. So we got a nice headpiece as a reward, and let's pick up the side quest Listen before we get started. Up, and grab some of that cyber virus so the Joker scientists can take a look at it. You never know what new ingredients will wind up. If you ever wondered what super strength is for, uh, this is what Lex you can do Luthor with the super speaking. strength. The Omax are attacking super powered heroes and villains in force near the Knights Dome Stadium. The Omax rather brilliantly adapt to any attack, so don't bother with the heroes there. There will be plenty of time for that when Brother Eye's information is in my hands. Although the Omax as created by Kirby was uh, quite different from uh, from this year. Oh yeah, and also we had Omax from the new 52. I have to admit, I loved uh, that version. It was like the blue version, a, a blue Hulk version for DC. And it reminded me of uh, the Hulk comics from the 70s when they were drawn by Herb, Trim Herb Trimpey. Uh, sadly, obviously, since I did enjoy that series, it lasted about 8 issues. Which is a real shame. It was a it was a fun series. I guess the one way to to summarize the series would be in one word, Omactivate. If you find that uh, that it, that that name is cool, basically it was the activation that uh, Omac would say when it would transform into Omac. Omactivate. If you think it's cool, then you probably would have enjoyed that series. If you think it's a uh, cheesy and corny, then yeah, odds are you, you would not have enjoyed it. Oh, there's the evil fire over there. Oh, and uh, she's with Killer Frost. Uh, sadly, we're no match with uh, for for uh, fire at this point, so we're not we're not even going to try. I don't think I pick up I picked up the bounty anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So Omactivate, that, that pretty much sums up uh, the Omac series uh, from 2011. And personally I loved it, but again it was it was mostly because it was uh, like a, a blue version of the Hulk in the DC Universe. As if he was uh, done by the, the legendary Herb Trimpey. Omax are created using a direct injection of a fast acting nanosheen solution. In case you don't know who Herb Trimpey is, if you read any comics from the from G.I. Joe in the early 80s, that was Herb Trimpey. He worked on G.I. Joe for the first uh, 6, 8, 10 issues, I forget. It's been uh, it's been a long time since I read those comics. Oh, I don't need Omax anymore. I need uh, the super-powered villains. Villains. Uh, there's some.
Here's our friend Fire again. Uh, let's pick up the bus because we can't. Not sure why I only see the heroines, I don't see the villains. Uh, let's go back on the other side, maybe. Ah, oh, there they are. So obviously it's villains and villainesses. Oh, my freaks a bit. Actually, we still have to assault some Omax. So let us do that. You so two more villains and we're we're out of here. Our villainess is, is oh, there's one. I'm sure I mentioned it before. Uh, sadly, throwing objects don't seems to do that much damage, but it's still it's still fun to do. There's one mission or two where it might be a little useful, but uh, not not really. Ah, oh, there we go. So let's go to our journal and complete our mission. Heroes and villains working together. It's enough to give you hope for humanity. <laughs> oh, like that'll last. So let's go pick up the side quest first. The JLA failed miserably in exterminating Brother Eye the last time he acted up. Since an EMP burst will disrupt the OMAX, I've duplicated the units Batman used the first time and had LexCorp airdrop them in. Use them to take out the OMAX. Then see if any data remains in the humans left behind. So this whole quest line, as you can see, has to, de to deal with the OMAX. Or the OMAX, since there's a lot of them. At first, at first, the OMAC was only a single guy. Uh, it was one guy, Buddy Banks. <laughs> Buddy Banks? Buddy Baker? Ah, one of those. Been a long time since I, since I read those comics. Anyway, Buddy was uh, basically transforming into OMAC thanks to a satellite known as uh, Brother Eye. <laughs> but then for Final Crisis, uh, OMAC was actually turned into the OMAC virus. Some sort of techno virus that would, as you can see, turn uh, civilians into uh, evil killing machines. And if I recall correctly, they were done to uh, chase down uh, heroes or something like that. And it turns out that the uh, checkmate and the evil Maxwell Lord were at at uh, responsible for all of that. Data zero eight two five. OMAC directive one system recovery. Uh, which was a bit sad. I I remember the uh, Maxwell Lord from uh, his days in Justice League International, and I really enjoyed uh, the character way back when. It's always sad to see him turn into a two-bit villain. He still was a villain with the New Fifty Two, but uh, I have to admit it's been a long time since I read the OMAC comics, so I forget the specifics. So right now we're level 28. I don't think this will be our last uh, mission quest. I think we'll probably have to go uh, help our friend the Spectre after that, if I recall correctly. Uh, but uh, well, we'll, what we'll do is that uh, we'll we'll play the OMAC missions. 
and then next time uh, we'll probably go play the mission that our friend uh, Catwoman had for us and after that we'll go uh, finish everything uh, to fight uh, the Spectre or to help the Spectre actually although in our case now we're probably going to fight the Spectre and help uh, the evil Eclipso it's been a while since I played uh, the storyline especially from the villain side Just one more. Oh. I guess today is Ixo by day. So let's pick it up. And I don't know if you guys saw yesterday. Yesterday we got the brand new uh, Suicide Squad trailer. I thought I was forgetting uh, a mission. Uh, there's some people in the forums who started uh, speculating that uh, the, ne the the DLC after World of Flashpoint would probably be a Suicide Squad DLC to match with the, the Suicide Squad movie. That could be possible. So, oh, there we go. Yeah, we don't need any more Omax, but uh, let's beat him up anyway. Ah, uh, don't you hate it when they spawn just as you're passing by? Evil Omax. So some people are speculating that uh, the DLC after World of Flashpoint might be a Suicide Squad DLC, which would make some kind of sense. And uh, spoiler alert, in case you didn't see the, the trailer, we do see the evil Star Wars the Conqueror in the trailer. Seeing how we already have Star Wars in the game, uh, wouldn't be that far-fetched uh, to have him as part of a an upcoming DLC. And in the, uh, in the trailer, we saw King Shark. Uh, King Shark would be a fun... Uh, actually, we do have King Shark already in the game. But they they modeled him after a Hammer Shark, Hammerhead Shark or something like that. Instead of uh, keeping him like the comics. But we could see our friend uh, King, Shark, King Shark again. Uh, decisions, decisions. Uh, let's go for the Vault Ticket. And we got a little roar box, uh, it gives us an improvement on our weapon, so we'll take it. Oh, and a new pair of gloves. Oh, let's go over here. So the next step of our mission, we'll have to oh, go into the sewers. Data from the OMAC victims. I do love me some data. This will give us something to use against Oracle. And, uh, Brother Eye, of course. Since the deactivated Omax are a blank, you must face Brother I himself to gain his data. He's squatting in the sewers and using the tunnels to deploy his Omax. Only multiple EMPs will take down his shielding, so I'm sending in Killer Frost. She'll give you a device to use on junction boxes down below. So there is a side quest uh, just as we enter, so let's talk to the doctor. I won't even try to Killer say his name. The I'm sure she'll give you a warm welcome along with the EMP device. And she'll make sure you get in safely if she wants to survive. Uh, ever since we had the Flash uh, TV show, it's always uh, weird and uh, and cool to see uh, Killer Frost. Obviously, this is the version from the comics. Uh, actually, I think this is the new 52 version. Not too sure. About time. This device will convert the junction boxes down here into EMPs. Lex insists I stay until we know the device works. If it doesn't, don't expect a rescue. I'm cold that way. Let's go. I'll take the lead and show them some real fireworks. Although I saw Killer Frost uh, way back when in the Crisis on Infinite Earth. So here there's a whole bunch of Womack. We could decide to fight them. But what you really want to do is uh, activate the EMP here. And it will, it will disable the Omax. Alright kid, you're on your own. 
Stay frosty. Ah, oh, Killer Frost is abandoning us. She's so mean. And there's an Omak here. Uh, this Omak used to give like uh, one mark of. Uh, I forget. Execute. One sort. Well, what used to be one source marks, but uh, one mark of victory or something like that way back when. But not anymore. So let's activate the MP again here. Let's use those little. Uh... Oh, I guess not. So, before we continue our mission over there, uh, we do have a side quest here, although there's still a little guy out oh, there. Is. So the side quest we picked up at the entrance will be over there. Uh, let's pick up the investigation first. Data one zero one nine. Lord Maxwell, ally of and advocate for the OMAC project, and brother I, deceased. So here we have an evil mutant alligator. So let's go tell him. See you later, alligator. Yeah, that was a terrible dad joke. I apologize for that. So you saw the alligator gave us a source mark. Oh, and a, a nice necklace. So now we can continue. Brother Eye's shielding is breaking up communication, so I won't be able to steer you through. Watch out for Brother Eye's drones and try to get past without acting. You can. The data. I guess there should be a way to sneak past those drones. Uh, I'm never patient enough to do that. I just uh, beat the snot out of them anyway. And there we go. Oh no, is it a trap? Let's activate the little console here. We probably should have done that before, but uh, we were able to clear out the OMAX anyway. I have you now. Oh, okay. I was worried a bit. I thought that we didn't trigger the event. Sadly, there are events you have to trigger in missions in order to be able to continue forward. And once in a while, there will be some events that will not trigger if you come in too fast or whatever reasons. It's something that happens from time to time in games. Uh, there, there, a lot of games have triggers for certain events that you have to trigger. Uh, the first time I encountered this uh, issue was uh, in Baldur's Gate. There was uh, a map where you had to, to trigger. Uh, it was an invisible trigger that you didn't know about. But once you triggered it, it allowed you to be able to move forward to the next uh, chapter of the game. But if you had the speed boots, uh, the speed boots would make it so that your character would move too fast and you would not trigger the trigger. So you had to be very careful. There's a certain point in time where you had to make sure to remove the speed boots if you had them and then move forward and activate the trigger. But the first time, if you didn't know about that, well, too bad, so sad. Intruder has not been you couldn't finish the game. It was pretty much a game uh, game breaking issue you have because it literally meant that you could not finish the game. Security measures will be initiated. Here it's not so much an issue in the sense that uh, you probably would have just if you had, if you had such an issue, you just have to redo the mission. You don't have to redo the whole game.
And there's also a few triggers over here. If once you get close to this console here, it, it triggers a bunch of drones, it appears. And then if we click on the trigger again, it will uh, summon a bunch of Omax. And there's a dual version of this mission where usually uh, a lot of people will just come in, get close to the console and trigger the con and uh, activate the console. And then it will, uh, it will trigger a whole bunch of enemies all at once. At this point, it wouldn't be an issue. Probably could still take them out, uh, all of them. But I'm, um, uh, I guess, a careful kind of guy. I, I deal with uh, one wave of enemy. So once the the wave is done with, uh, done for, then I de I summon the other wave, and it's like that. With uh, there's a whole bunch of con uh, a couple of console in this map, so you you pretty much have to do that with uh, each oh, with each map, each uh, each console. I'll get her dread someday, I swear. He swear. And there's also the broad eye in the middle that uh, kind of bombards you, so you try to get out of his uh, line of sight if you can. And let's destroy those little generators or mainframes. Ah. And there's a whole bunch of healing barrel, so don't hesitate to use them. So you can see we summoned a bunch of drones uh, by getting close. Nah, they seem to be stuck here. Oh no! So now let's activate the console. So as you saw, once you activate the console, you summon a couple of Omax. And also you activate, you can see on the floor, that the floor is activated, so you don't want to step on that. And then we have to go around to click on some consoles oh we still have a mainframe uh, I didn't notice there we go so if we click all the consoles if I recall correctly that should deactivate the floor it's not a big deal as you can it's just a bit annoying as you just saw and now let's go to the last one Endless user, Shazam! I try not to use it, but in this case, I don't think it'll matter. I didn't want to use it against the OMAC, uh, the huge OMAC we're going to fight. Pretty sure there's a feat to defeat uh, the OMAC without using any uh, any sodas and any supercharge, but uh, that. We can still use the uh, the barrels. Eliminating data bleed. There should still be a healing barrel or two, unless could possible I use them all. I guess I did. But I'm really to respond pretty quick. I'm a bit surprised that uh, there's none left. Ah, it doesn't matter. So usually against a boss, the fights will last a bit longer, so having some sort of healing ability doesn't have to be a big one, but just having some sort of healing ability gives you uh, extra survivability. And I guess the electric power was the first... Uh, the first battle healer, I suppose we could say. Oh, let's skip you skip. I love those cinematics, but I have a video called uh, This Universe Online The Movie where I do get... Uh, I do have a whole bunch of those cinematics. 
So if you want to see cinematics, uh, look at, at that video. So let's put on the gloves. And that seems to be it. A little bit surprised. I could have sworn that the uh, the healing barrel would have respawned by now. It's not a big deal. It's just that uh, if you want to have like the top feat for the healing barrel is a thousand healing barrels. If you want to be able to get that feat, well, you're you're gonna have to break a lot of healing barrels. So whatever, uh, these are um, ice barrels. So whenever you see some healing barrels, there's no reason not to break them uh, open. Especially once the mission is done and you really no longer need them. And don't, don't hesitate. Just break them open. And you'll be able to work your way toward the 1,000 feet. So let us complete our blind eye mission. You've done well. This brother eye may not possess the information of the original, but sooner or later that data will be in my hands. As for the OMAC virus, I derived it from a different future Brainiac technology. It could save us all or be our doom. For now, speak to Killer Frost in the safe house. I'm sure she'll thank you for all your efforts. Ah, Killer Frost is going to thank us. That's so sweet. Especially seeing uh, she's a main lady. Having her thank us is a big, uh, it's a big deal. So let's go back inside. So the OMAC mission is something you have to do whether you're a hero or a villain, you will fight a whole bunch of OMACs. Or there might be a, uh, some sort of distinction with uh, some of the objectives. How are you again? It was cold of me to leave you in those tunnels. But on the bright side, we both survived and the OMACs are on ice. I call that a happy ending. This is Calculator. The Sinestro Corps is still having issues with their rings, and the Green Lantern Corps and the JSA have them on the run. Sinestro apparently asked for you by name. Check in with Sinestro Corps recruiter in the Midtown nightclub. Oh, I'm a bit surprised. I would have thought that the next mission quest would have been uh, the Spectre one. Didn't expect that to be the, the, the Sinestro one. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Oh, before we... Before we stop for today, uh, let's go repair a bit. You need any goods, friend? So ideally you want to sell whatever gear you have. There might be some broken gear in your inventory, so you don't want to repair it and then uh, sell it. It's a bit of a waste. Uh, we'll probably never use those colas, so we may as well uh, sell them. And there we go. And now we should be able to repair without wasting uh, too much cash. And there's something I don't mention very often. Uh, there is this little uh, time and space vendor. The, this is the this is the quarks vendor. We do have a version of the quarks vendor in all the safe houses. So in case you don't want to go to the watchtower for reasons, uh, you could purchase some stuff from there. Oh, and there's a little, and there's a little mechanical supply officer. There's a the same officer in the Hall of Doom or in the watchtower. But if you want to have uh, access to that little guy you have access to him through all the vendors so here you can see selling the metallo set of gear so if ever you reach a point where you're not sure what kind of gear you should purchase come see this little guy and he will let you know like right now we're not level 30 just yet so he's not going to sell us the metallo gear but once we do reach level 30 then we will have access to to that gear That is going to be pretty much it for today. So next time we will talk to our friend Catwoman uh, and we'll play the... Uh, it's not really part of the mission quest. I'm not sure I would, I would uh, qualify it. Probably a miscell miss miscellaneous uh, mission. And you can see we have a whole bunch of miscellaneous missions. Uh, also, if, if, if for some reason you you end up uh, stuck at level 29, those missions count. Like you could, uh, you could, uh, you could play the Area 51, uh, Gorilla Island, the Hive. I have to admit, it's been a long time since I did play those missions. So I'm not sure if uh, how many people, if there's that many people who play those those missions. But cure for all of them. Cure for Area 51, Gorilla Island, Hive, Olin Island, uh, Blood Haven. And uh, you should be able to enter at least one of those missions. And that should give you at least some uh, some XP's. 
And I did mention there's the Doom Metropolis missions also. Uh, if you go to the, the Hall of Doom, you'll see a portal that will take you to the Doom Metropolis map. There's a whole bunch of missions you can play there that will give you XP. And of course, there is the latest uh, DLC. If you go to the on duty menu, you'll see the Legend uh, mission, the Legion mission here. There's also uh, missions in the open world uh, Legion map. So if you need to, you could go there. And uh, and there's also wow oh, I thought we would have access to oh there we go and uh, there's also the last son of Krypton which you should have access to and the Doomsday level 10 plus mission which you should have access to so you should have at least a few missions that you can play uh, so if you're stuck at level 29 and somehow cannot push to level 30 for reasons uh, this should allow you to oh we got mail uh, let's pick up our mail and we'll uh, we'll end after this. Let's see if we got some good stuff. So this is most likely from the uh, investigation we completed. So it gave us a pair of pants, and actually it's a, a good pair of pants, so we'll we'll take it. So enough rumbling for today. So next time we will talk to our friend Catwoman. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. Or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now. Bye-bye.